Hello, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here in my Boca Raton office with my patient, Margarita. She's uh, enjoying her new dentistry. This is uh, the state-of-the-art technology from my uh, laboratory uh, in Massachusetts. Uh, this will be a shout-out to, uh, to Bob. Uh, this is the full contour now. We're going full contour zirconia. And we did glaze and have them glaze and stain that, but it's all one piece. There's no layering involved. We've got the very strength coming from all this uh, ceramic material, and it is a bone level case. So, um, again, two implants holding three teeth in place uh, without any metal framework now. This is completely scanned as well as, um, as design. Uh, on software as opposed to waxing, casting, and metal, then building in porcelain. So there's the least amount of susceptibility for any fracture to occur. Um, let's just take a little guided tour here of the lingual. She did have some recession on the ling palatal side of uh, number uh, five, and uh, just a little bit here. Could have come from the temporary itself, but. Uh, uh, seems to be fine on the x-ray, so we're in good shape there. Uh, here's our ponic. We asked our lab to uh, to give us a little bit of pressure in that area so food wouldn't get caught. We did instruct our patient to use a water pick. Again, um, minimal blanching here. For those of you who have just tuned in, uh, please take a look at some of our other videos related to bone level impressions, and you'll see how we make it very, very simple. Um, and uh, a system step-by-step -step approach that uh, allows us to go from the impression phase all the way to the final without uh, adjusting. Um, at least the tissue we wouldn't adjust. Sometimes we have to adjust the occlusion, although she's hitting here on the first, bicu uh, on the first bicuspid that uh, we haven't torqued the case down, so that will be uh, rechecked. Now, we're at the point where we're going to go ahead and torque her case in. I just wanted to show you the aesthetics as well on this uh, really nice case from a lab that I use now for the uh, zirconia uh, bridge work. And it is one piece, uh, no layering at all. And I think you can see by the aesthetics here, it's just amazing. And strength as well. All right. Um, Flossing is fine, no problem. Snaps through, we use glide floss. And uh, again, contours are exactly what we wanted. Um, we can look at cloning teeth today through the software. Um, um, I basically wanted the same, similar dimensions as these bicuspids on the left side, which she did properly. Molar, again, staying a little bit larger than the bicuspid, but not as large as the molar back there, giving her a nice small table, occlusal table, on which to chew. And we like that. Now, some dentists might want a, a larger table. I like to keep the narrow. Uh, it's less force on the implant and uh, less worry. Um, I do like broad contacts, and nice broad contacts, and it looks like they were very successful in doing that on both uh, the distal of this uh, cuspid and the mesial of this molar here. We'll use a disc to polish those areas right prior to the impression phase so that we can look at the end here and say, okay, well, did we give the lab enough room to, to receive that, uh, that flat area for, for, uh, for us to build our contact? Less food will get caught in there. If you do that, that will be great. Um, and then again, they, they'll take care of the ponic region on the software design, give us a little pressure. We probably could have dimpled it a little bit, but I uh, didn't want to disturb the soft tissue at the time. Um, I think this case was better enough that we left well enough alone. So it still turned out great. And uh, we're going to go ahead and torque it down. And uh, quality control looks fantastic. Uh, we'll, we'll move on from here. Dr. Jerry Cuomo, again, thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully this is uh, educational enough uh, for you to look into the all ceramic uh, full contour zirconia bridge work and also single tooth uh, crowns. Take care. Thank you.